Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Razalt and welcome to my Samsung Dex videos. So in this video, I have a question from someone. The question is, um, what is the best file explorer for Samsung Dex? And well, well honestly, I think the default um, Samsung My Files um, file explorer is the best one for Samsung Dex. And we'll now go through the app and explain why I think so and why I think the others are is not the best. So. Yeah, so this is basically my, my, my personal opinion and you guys are welcome to tell me in the comment section um, what is your favorite file explorer and I will, I, will, I, will, I will even go and try it out if I haven't yet tried it out but I tried out, I tried out a bunch of different and and, um, and other file explorers but I just, I just kept coming back to Samsung Mail Files and using this one as my, as my primary one because this, because this one is simply the best one for me. So um, let's go ahead and launch the Samsung Mail Files app. And from the start, you guys can easily see that, that the app is, is perfectly optimized for Samsung Dex. It opens up in full screen, and, that, and that's the first reason why the other ones um, was not for me. Basically, basically, most of the other ones is not optimized for Samsung Dex. Um, they work on Samsung Dex, but but the, but, but the GUI is not um, is not well made for a desktop operating operating system, or simply they don't look. Um, that 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 appealing and good for me. So the first thing I, I like about Samsung Mail Files is, is that it reminds me of the Windows 10 File Explorer, and I really like that one. Although they, although 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 there is plenty of room for for improvement, of course. Um, I, I don't think Samsung Mail Files is anywhere near the perfect File Explorer. It's it can still use a bunch of improvement, but I think it's the closest to the Windows one that that, that, that I'm used to, and that, that, and the one that I think is a very good File Explorer. Um. Yeah, so the first one, as you can see, I can access my recent files here. This is all of my recent files. Um, I can access images from here. All of, my, all, of my, all of my images on my internal storage and SD card. And I can access my audio here. I can access my videos here. Um, same goes for documents and downloads and installation files. And here I can access my, my phone. And here's all of my phone, my internal storage and stuff. I can also see how many files and folders I have in my um, internal storage as well as how many storage I have and how many storage I have left. Then I can also see the SD card. I can see how much storage I have for the SD card and how much I have left. This is a bit of a small SD card. I used to have a bigger one but it sadly broke. So now I'm stuck with this small one. And SD cards are too expensive for me to buy a new one. So I'm basically stuck with this small one right now. But here's my SD card, and I can also go to my external hard drive. This is my external hard drive. It's a five terabyte. It shows four point five five terabyte, but it's actually a five terabyte. And you can also see how much space I have left in that one. So I love I love this one because I can easily see all of my details. If I plug in a new hard drive, um, or, 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 or here's, here's a flash drive. I can simply go ahead and plug in this flash drive as well. So I'm gonna plug this plug this flash drive in now. Okay, so, so, so it's plugged in now. I just wait a bit, and boom! Here you can see USB storage too. So now, so now the flash drive is also here on this um, Samsung Dex. You can see it, it works. So I can plug in. I've tried up the, the the maximum of hard drives of hard drives I've plugged in was four hard drives. So I plugged in four hard drives into my Samsung Dex, and they all were five terabytes big, and they all showed up here. In the phone, they all work perfectly. Although they were quite slow, they were very slow. But that's because of the phone and not uh, the app. And then here is my here's my cloud devices. I can also access my Samsung cloud drive, my Google Drive, and my OneDrive straight from here. And that's also some, 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 something I really like, as you guys can see from here. Um, if you go to oh, okay, I can also do the search here above, which is which, which is which is quite cool. And I can also I can, I can also I can also change the layout. Let's for instance go to my Samsung Dex videos. Um, then I can change the layout if I want to change the layout. So I click here, and I think it's crashing now. Okay, my computer is just a bit slow right now. I'm going to close the app, open the app again. Um, can go to um, oops, come on, my hard drive, Samsung Dex videos, and then you can change the layout here to maybe a different layout like this layout. But I prefer um. This normal details layout. Then you can first go to settings, settings, and here you can um you here you can enable and put your cloud accounts in. Um, you can what else? Just some basic settings. Get more space. Um, 
So just some general settings. You can enable, you can show and hide. Um, you can choose whether, whether you want to show and hide hidden files and recent files. So I can hide this. And then now recent files won't be there. And if I go to internal storage, I also can't see all my hidden files. But of course, I want my hidden files and recent files to be there. And you can also search here if you want to search for a file via voice. And you can actually voice search it. Um, I can't do that, do that right now, but that, that works and the ability for that is there. That's basically it, guys. That's basically what, um, how it works stuff. You can also normally, as you would expect, you could um, right-click and open, delete, share, move, copy, all these things, different files. I'm going to I'm going to delete. Oh, no, wait. This is the recording I'm busy making right now. So it's busy storing it there. Um, but you can delete it. You can do a bunch of, a bunch of different stuff with it. And... I can basically select a file, let's go to my documents and look for type of programming helper, not that one, downloads, um, so this one, I can, for instance, view details of it, as you guys can see, and then I can delete it, I can share it, I can move it, a um, bunch, of, bunch of the different stuff with it, I'm going to delete it for now, and boom, as you guys can see, so yeah, that's basically um, the Samsung Mob Files File Explorer. And I really think this one is the best one um, for Samsung Dex. But as you guys, as you guys can, as I, as I told you guys, you guys are welcome to comment down below your, your favorite ones and tell me why yours is the best one and why you disagree with, with me. Um, I'm open for suggestions. I've tried about five different ones. Um, yeah, and I just felt that, that, that this one is the best one for me. I tried the five um, top ones that came up that came up when I searched for File Explorer and. Samsung My Files was the best one for me. But I'm, willing, I'm willing to try more. I have a videos planned where I will try a bunch of different file explorers on a video. Um, but so far, this one's the best one for me personally. And that's about it, guys. So if you have, if you have any questions for me about Samsung Dex, then you can ask me the questions in the comment section and we'll try to answer it for you, either on a video or in the comment section, or even both. And if you have any other, if you have any other such suggestions or videos that you would like for me to make, then you can ask me in the comment section and we'll try to make, to make those videos for you as well. And then before we actually end this video, um, you guys are welcome to go ahead and download my apps from the from the Play Store. So I released I released two apps from on the Play Store. The one is called Rosal Color Picker, and the other one is called um, Text Helper. Basically, Rosal Color Picker is a color picker for graphic designers and programmers, and Text Helper is an app that gives you tips and advice for Samsung decks. And that's about it, guys. So yeah, um, then I will see you guys in the oops, heck, man. So then I will see you guys in the next video and yeah, bye-bye.